hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to explain you how we can get this sharepoint site id using the microsoft graph api okay so let's see so this is a graph api explorer okay so let me explain you first like what is microsoft graph api so uh, microsoft graph api is a developer play platform okay so this is a developer you can say there are developer platform in the url you can also see like a developer dot microsoft is mentioned okay so uh, in this graph api it works like a api kind of thing okay we can uh, in by using this platform we can connect uh, multiple services and the devices is and perform and number of actions okay so if i scroll down so you can see like initially i'm getting this my profile okay so if i uh, run this query then you can able to see like uh, um, uh, it is giving me the data everything it is giving me okay and same thing like a photo mail so these are some basics and we can perform the applications if you want to fetch anything and we have excel so we have a lot of option is available but today i'm going to focus on just a, um, a sharepoint site so we have a microsoft teams we have a onedrive one note everything so everything we can connect and perform a number of actions using the microsoft graph api okay so now let's see like a sharepoint site we have a option is available so right now i just want to fetch only a uh, sharepoint site id so how we can do okay so here you can see we have a uh, sharepoint site based on this relative path of the site okay so if i click on this and this is nothing just like a, a method we have available okay so basically in we have a different types of http verses available like a get post put patch and delete okay and here we have a similar like a get option is available so i selected this get sharepoint site based on the relative path of the site okay so now you will see like uh, uh, it is asking me to enter the host name and then server relative path okay so now let's go back to our sharepoint site so this is my sharepoint site okay and this is our uh, host you can say what we need to do we need to just remove this okay start with open curly braces okay and end with close curly braces okay and you can remove that http kind of things okay? because we have already same thing in the prefix of this url okay and now you need to remove that as well okay and just keep in mind like a uh, you should not delete that uh, colon okay and now we have pasted successfully the host name now it is asking me to the server relative path server relative part is nothing just like a, uh, it is just a, uh, our a site name okay so we will copy this now if i run this query okay, then you will able to see the data okay so here you can see this is my uh this is my site name and this is my uh, sharepoint site id okay so through this sharepoint site we can perform any actions like if you want to uh, do a, 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 a let's say column and a list contain time we can do and uh, uh, we can perform any action so that time you would need a uh, this sharepoint site instead of a exact url okay so that's how we can fetch the sharepoint site thanks for watching please subscribe my channel see you later